Yeah. Okay, we're recording now. <laughs> no. All right, moving on. I want to do version. All righty. <clears throat> so let's start with your brand, your business brand. Do you need one? Do you need one? I would say yes. Um, I really, I, if, if you're wanting to build this into a business that supplements your income greatly or replaces your income, uh, you want to build yourself a brand and, and stick out from amongst not just people in Beachbody, but fitness people, period. I mean, you don't have to compete with personal trainers or nutrition and stuff, but you have to grab the, the eyes of people that are looking at personal trainers and nutritionists. Beachbody has that covered for you, but it's a good idea for you to have a brand for people to be attracted to, if that makes sense. So what is a brand? A brand is a set of expectations, memories, stories, and relationships that taken together account for a consumer's decision to choose one service over another. So that's from Seth Godin. Um, and I wanna reiterate again, that it's a set of expectations, memories, stories, and relationships taken together. So all of that stuff put together that account for a consumer's decision to go, I want to buy this over this. Oh, no. I had to head notes. I had a lot more than that. Damn cat. Cat ate my homework. All right. So I want you to know that um, all that means is that a customer's experience experience is a brand it's not a logo your brand is not a logo that you make your brand is not social media your brand is not a website your brand is you and the expectations that you can meet for people the memories that they have working with you um, the relationships that are built um, is what creates your brand not just so don't think okay melissa's here to tell us we need to go to fiverr.com and have a logo made nope <laughs> You don't have to have a website either. I mean, that's all stuff that can make the experience for somebody that wants to work with you a little bit better, maybe to have a brand or to have a website that they go through, but it isn't who you are. Your brand is not things, they're experiences. So when you, are you proud of me? When you, um, when you look at Rolls Royce, <clears throat> what, what do, it's a Rolls Royce. Okay, just checking. Stop, it made me nervous. Um, I got, I'm on screen share, so I can't, um, I was going to have you guys tell me what does Ro Rolls Royce sell? What is Rolls Royce? An experience. Oh, damn it. Yes. You weren't supposed to get that right. But I'm smart. That's why. Oh, there's the chat. Thank you, somebody. Let me open it. So you, you should have wanted to say, I need to get rid of them. A car, right? Cause that's I can go back under the table. Because that's what you think of. Damn. There we go. That's what you think of. You see that and you think, okay, Rolls Royce sells a car. No, they don't sell an experience either. They sell a lifestyle, right? So when you think of Rolls Royce or you think of Rolex or um, what's something else expensive? You. <laughs> diamonds um, it, it's a lifestyle right it's it's a luxury lifestyle so you're not gonna see Rolls-Royce um, you know just talking about the car but as you can see in the picture I think that's we were there that's in um, England um, it's not the Golden Gate Bridge but that's um, what they sell is you know you see you're thinking traveling behind it and um, the lifestyle of luxury so if you think of someone like Rachel Ray who um, is on TV, your first inclination is, okay, cooking. She cooks, not really. What she does is um, creates an experience for people. If you ever watch her show, she cooks something really fast, but in the process, she's telling stories. Um, but at the end, there's always some sort of party with family or friends, and so she's creating um, an experience around food. Uh, even if I think about uh, Emirates, you know, I taken Lauren, mm. it's specifically taken Lauren Fitzgerald. I had to pick the airline Emirates. Um, 
any plane was going to get us to the Maldives, but I chose Emirates because um, their customer service is bar none. Um, they have fresh flowers in there. Um, there's a lounge. It, it's just, it's an experience in itself to be on that plane as opposed to flying, you know, on United, which is a seat. So think about your brand and how it's going to create an experience for people or a lifestyle um, as opposed to just a product. Mm. So exercise for you guys. I want you to take a minute or two and I want you to choose three branding words. Three words, if you had to choose, that would explain your service, okay? Not, not products, but your service. Think of three words. I'm gonna give you a minute. So it's gonna be awkward silence for a minute. Write it down or think of three words. And don't worry, I'll share mine. I don't want you to steal mine. If they work for you, great, but, but try to come up with your own and then maybe you can even see if, if there's any commonality between what I chose and what you do. I meet my raisinettes. You? That's how I've sold most people. Get them to be okay with indulging. Make the experience as obnoxious as possible. And at the end, they feel like they trust me in every scenario, product, service, to recommend, whatever, that there's not gonna be any loose ends. Hmm. All right, so that might have you might have had those three words. I mean, it, it didn't take Mick. He's not done this, but it didn't take him long. And he, I'm sure you're thinking of the car business when you're in it. The car business, what three That's words? That's all I know. <laughs> oh, you know. The three words that resonated with him. So either they were right there for you and you're like, I know, because you've been doing this a while or it's just something that you're incredibly passionate about. Or maybe you're new at this business and you're like, I have no idea. And that's okay because you can think about it now and it can be something that you can work on you know and, and so that you really have clarity on on who your brand is but here's what the three words that i came with the first one was culture i want people that are surrounded by me to feel a sense of community and culture and that they're a part of something right um, i want to educate people i don't care if it's in you know fitness or in nutrition or even in owning your own business i want to educate people and i want people to have resolve i want them to to know that this Sorry, it's just the worst basil. <laughs> what? Worst basil. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, why did I bring him in here again? Mine's kicking in. Resolve. Why do, you know, I want people to come in and I want them to feel like that they, they really have the resolution to their health and fitness goals or to maybe their financial goals or whatever it is, but to feel a sense of resolve. So, and you guys are, please, I would love in the chat make this as interactive as possible to share with me some of the words that you came up with i would love to see if there's any kind of variety out there okay so you gave me the three words that kind of explain your brand of of who you are so now what i want you to do is um i want you to tell me what your business does so i don't care how many you come up with but um I'm going to give you a few examples of what my business does, but I'm going to give you again another minute. I still have some raisinets to eat. And I want you to write down what does your business do? mistake the fact that they're beach body red that every human being has to be forcing through the eyes of each body it's what does oh. your business i know that's why i'm giving them my example as well because i'll see that i'm not yeah because i don't think people will even know you have anything to do with beach body 
yeah. anymore. You've gotten so good at honing through your brand, not through your product that you bag. Right. You guys think you have an idea? I see Jennifer writing away. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> I was doing my homework. Don't disturb me. Hmm. Renee looks bored. <laughs> Are you done, Charity? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Dang it. So what is my business is I give people tools to get healthy. I educate people on intermittent fasting and a higher fat lifestyle. So I can be as generic as saying that I give tools to help people get healthy, which is what Beachbody does. But specifically in my brand is I educate people on intermittent fasting and a higher fat lifestyle. I support people on their journeys. So I'm not only there to help them get started, but I support them along the way. I lead by example. I think that's a really big one is I would never ask anybody to do um, health and fitness or business wise that I'm not willing to do myself. Um, oh, that's right. I cut it down. Uh, so those are really the three things I think that describe who I am and what I do, my brand. I give people tools. I support them along the way and I um, lead by example. And I think that that's really helped me create a brand that separates me from, from other people. Being in this company as long as I have been, almost nine years, um, I know a lot of coaches and there, I, I, for sure, number one, there aren't any coaches and trust me, they're all, or, <laughs> they're all coming to me lately because of number one. Um, I'm, I'm joking that I'm the coach's coach because, um, coaches want my help with health and fitness. Ironic. Um, number two, is, um, support them along their journeys. And then number three is that I lead by example. So your next exercise is what's your niche or your niche? Depends on where you're from, right? Um, Steve Andrews is niche. I'm niche. Um, what do you? Is tomato. Tomato, tomato. What do you want to focus on? Okay. Or so, excuse me. Who do you want to focus on? So this is really important. Um, I had Lorraine come over today. I don't know if she's on tonight, but every single person that I ask at new coaches, getting started right calls, when I'm reviving an old coach, um, or I'm on a team call. Uh, with another team and the question comes up, who's your target market without fail? 98% of people say moms, stay at home moms, working moms. I get that. But you and 400,000 other women are looking to help single moms, stay at home moms, working moms. So I want you to be a little more specific on who do you want to focus on? If you could choose every single month, the 10 women that could be in your challenge group, Describe them right now. I am. <laughs> it says 34 new messages. I'm not seeing your messages. Sorry. Synthony. Mm -hmm. Synthony is eating pizza at Whole Foods. Crystal, I didn't know you had Lyme disease. Lyme disease? Yeah. Did you know Josh Spencer just came off of a two-year hiatus on that? You should reach out to him. Mm -hmm. It was a crazy, crazy story. Heal, support, empower, strengthen, inspire, enable, support, transform, create. I love these. Look at you guys. Self-belief, revelation, support, community. I love everybody's putting down support. That's right. That's right. All right, moving on. <laughs> I can read your comments all day. Um, who do, I want to focus on women. Sorry, gentlemen, um, but I don't want to work with men. I mean, I, coaches is, is different, but as far as um, health and fitness, I really just want to work with women. Um, and I wanted to be the ages between 24 and 45. I don't want to work with 18 year olds. I'm sorry, ladies, if you're 18, but I don't want to work with you. Um, you're hard to work with. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of an instant gratification for the most part um, when it comes to the younger generation and I don't have patience for it. So between 24 and 45 people that are trying, but failing, I want, I, I want to work with women 
who are willing to do the work, but they're just not educated enough to know the right things to do. So they may be, you know, doing a lower fat diet, restricting their calories, um, you know, going to the gym, taking two hour classes a day because they're trying, but it's not working for them. And I want to work with women that are open minded. I don't want women to come to me and me tell them that it's okay to have butter and bacon and for them to, to second guess me all the time. I want them to be open minded. So that's, that's my niche, my niche. That's the kind of person that I'm looking to work with. Gina says, someone who has been through enough negativity that they don't believe in themselves. They just float through life, strictly women. Absolutely. So, you know, for Gina's, Gina would thrive in creating a community of women um, where self-development is huge. You know, they, they've completely forgot about their self, um, self-love and and that would be the cornerstone of their the challenge group and above and beyond that let's you know nurture yourself so you feel better from the inside out and start to look better from the outside and have that confidence but it's going to start with here if that's who you choose you want to work with you have to know that the first thing you have to do is is help their self-belief the experience you're a coach you're more than a coach but you're a coach uh, and that can bring on, I mean, some people are Team Beachbody coaches like um, Tara Carr, a uh, good friend of Mick and I's um, and her husband. She really focuses on finances. That's her, the thing she loves. She's really big with Dave, Dave Ramsey and she does a lot of his um, books and she's um, done a, a leadership retreat with him and she loves him. And so when she gets women together, what she works on is helping women get out of debt. And on top of that, she helps women get healthy and fit and feel better about themselves. But she focuses on debt. Um, some people focus solely on nutrition. Some people focus on, could be solely on fitness. It could be on relationships. But what is the experience that you create around being a coach? Excuse me. So for me, I do a pre-challenge group checklist. So um, I can't take credit for it, and it is in your file section of the team. Um, team no, the team made library. Good try, though. The team made library. So I was going to pull it up, but you can find it. I, it's in there, and you can make it your own, or you can use it yourself. I can't take credit for it. Trevor and Cashley created it, and um, we just branded it team made. But it's a an amazing um, challenge group. Like it's like the pregame. It just really helps them get ready for the challenge group. Um, and that's unique. I don't think very many coaches do that. We do a prep week. I help them get ready for the actual challenge group. I give them a meal plan. The first week they have a meal plan that they have to follow ver verbatim um, so that I can see um, how insulin resistant or sensitive they are. They get daily accountability um, at least once a day. Um, they get education on intermittent fasting and higher fat. This is all an experience. They also get recipes that are shared. Um, they get me, where I lead by example, every single day. They see what I eat. They see that I worked out. Um, I incorporate personal development in my challenge groups. Um, I have them watch documentaries. I have them uh, re or watch, listen to podcasts. Um, specifically on health and nutrition to empower them to know that they're not depriving themselves by saying no to the sugar. They're empowering themselves and they're making a huge difference in their health. So they feel um, strong instead of weak because they can't have these kind of things. Um, they get recognized for their efforts. You know, if you, I've got somebody in a group that's constantly showing up and they're losing weight or they're posting and they get recognized for that. Um, that, that goes a long way with people. And I always give them next steps um, at the end. It's not just, hey, 30 days was great. It's next steps. What do you want to do? Do you want to fly out of the, the nest? Keep going? Do you want to stay in this challenge group? Do you want to go to the next challenge group? Would you like to become a coach? So they get um, next steps from me as well. So what does your brand do? So now I want you to answer the questions, what problems do you solve? Okay, you, not Team Beachbody. What problems do you solve? I need Jeopardy music. Mm -hmm. 
It's it's a bitsy spider. Definitely mm -mm, Name goes. No. <laughs> The end is like, and pour me out. Mm -hmm. All right. Lack of self-confidence in the team made library in the challenge group folder. All right. So what problems do I solve? I take the guesswork out of losing weight by offering a fitness and nutrition solution. I make getting healthy an, an enjoyable experience. So number one, a lot of people, you can pick up one magazine. I do it in the airport all the time. And on one page, it tells you to eat six small meals a day and to eat egg whites. And on the next page, they talk about the benefits of high fat and intermittent fasting. People are so confused about how to be healthy. And so I take the guesswork out of that. Um, and I also make it an enjoyable experience. I think too many people think that dieting and exercising uh, is, isn't enjoyable, but it can be. So next one, what do you help others achieve? Okay, so it's different than what problem you solve. I want you to write down, what do you help other people achieve? <laughs> Stacia, get a girl. I know. <laughs> okay. No. I took my joke. I took my joke. <laughs> so mean. I hang around. Okay. What do I help others achieve? I help women create lifestyles that promote well-being and joy. I help women feel confident in their day-to-day -day fitness and nutrition choices. So number one, it's a, I help them create a lifestyle that they enjoy and I give them the confidence in their day-to-day -day choices. You know, there's those times that you start a diet and you've been doing it for three or four days and you're like, I don't know if this is the right thing. <laughs> Because you pick up a magazine and you read the article that tells you to have egg whites and oatmeal for breakfast, and then you pick up the magazine three days later and it talks about eating bacon and eggs, and you're like, what? <laughs> so I help people um, give them the confidence to know what they're doing is right. That's my job, and that's what I work really hard to do in the experience of them being um, a client of mine. Okay, Stacia. All right. Next. What fears do you diminish? So people that are looking for help and are afraid to get started on whatever. What fear will you diminish for them? I guess you said self-doubt and finding a solution. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get this bed. Oh, I wish I can't handle it. Or stick this in my temple. Do you shower? Hmm? I do shower. My hair looks fine. I play with a cat. <laughs> Is that bad? Is the hair good? All right. So the fears that I wrote down that I diminish is my business diminishes the fear of wasting time and money, right? Gym memberships, equipment, um, gadgets, gizmos, pills, wraps. I diminish that fear that they're wasting their time and their money. And I empower women to be unafraid to put themselves first. When did you not? You weren't, you weren't, you weren't even close. Oh. <laughs> But that's the two things that, you know, that I, and I purposely put that out there. So when I'm, you know, promoting a challenge group that I'm doing or something, these are the kind of things that I circle my brand around because a lot of women have fear that they're wasting money 
or that they're wasting their time or that um, it's a bad thing that they're putting themselves first. All right, so what does your brand do? So now I want you to choose one of the questions that will serve as a foundation for your brand, okay? So does it solve a problem? Does it help people? Does it diminish a fear? Now, most likely your brand does all three, but I want you to think about out of those three things that you wrote, which one resonated with you the most? When, which one came to you the easiest? Which one, when you wrote, you're like, yeah, you're, you're proud of what you wrote down. There's gonna be one of those three that kind of resonate with you the most. Does it solve a problem? Does it help people? Does it diminish fear? And the first two kind of are the same thing, pretty much, but you have to think about how you will talk about number one, number two, and number three. Okay, <laughs> as we've been talking about, a brand is an experience. So you defined your brand words, the three words that, you know, in a nutshell, if someone were to say, just describe who you are, you know, outside of your family, who you are outside of your friends, um, what is your brand? Um, you created experiences around your brand. What is it that you can do that will set you apart from the other 400,000 coaches that do the same thing that you do essentially. And then you define what your brand does. Does it solve a problem? Does it help people? Does it diminish a fear? So with, with all that being said, I want you to take, if you weren't able to write those things down or you're not sure that, cause you felt rushed um, or you, whatever, to take all of those and I want you to now keep those in mind when you're posting. So with social media, posting is very, very intentional. I guess it's I should everybody. talk. Huh? It's everybody again. It's everybody it's again? Everybody. There we go. Well, we smokes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what you, what you wrote down is, is essentially your brand. Remember, like I said in the beginning, it's not a logo, it's not a website, it's, it's not your, you know, your identity on, on Facebook thus far. Um, so I want you to take all of this information, the, the three things that describe you and um, the experiences that you can give people and, and the problems you solve or the fears that you diminish. Now for me, when it said, what problems do you solve and how do you help people or do you diminish a fear? I liked the middle one. How do I help people? Because if I solve a problem, I, I have to start by talking about something that is a problem, which is fine. Some people can spin that very well and very easily. You may even be able to make um, a reference um, in the car business, um, a problem that you solve. But for me, that means that it has to start with there's a problem and I solve it for you. So for me, I would just rather start off my post and my intention with I help people and here's how I help people as opposed, as opposed to solving a problem, if that makes sense. So whichever one of those three you choose, just know that it's, it's kind of how you're going to center your posts from now on when it comes to something that's related to your brand or your business, or, you know, you're starting a challenge group where you want to do a, um, a coach post, <laughs> poach post, a coach post, or even if you do a webinar or a, um, a sneak peek of some sort, knowing out of those three things, you know, what you want to focus on um, will keep you, you know, laser focused on drilling into, um, <clears throat> excuse me, something that's very important to them as far as, you know, who you are and what you do. You're welcome, Gina. So, do you guys have any questions on any of that so far? 
that we did? Oh! <laughs> Hope you don't see that. Nah, <laughs> you're welcome. Where's Basil? You probably should go get Basil. A couple of people have asked. You're Nobody the... says, where's Mick, when I'm not here. <laughs> yes, they do. Nope. They always say, where's Mick? Where's okay. Mick? But, you know, that I want to say this is between you and I, but I always put these on social media, but um, I really have in the last several months i've had a lot of uh, very successful coaches come to me because we have something special um you guys don't all follow you know my own beliefs with fitness and nutrition and you absolutely absolutely do not have to um you know amanda dewey's like my best friend and she she's a little she's added more carbs back into her diet because it works better for her it doesn't work for everybody but if you do um you know, and I think God has a plan. I think, you know, I've been intermittent fasting for 18 years and I've been adding more fat into my diet for over three years. And I think, I think he knew that. And so he kind of put me in the forefront so that I could help people. Um, because now it's just huge and it's trending and you can't open a magazine. You can't look on Huffington Post where they're not talking about intermittent fasting or higher fat. Um, so it's given me uh, and also the team a great platform. Uh, so much so that you know, other coaches are struggling with the standard American diet because now it's just, you know, it's been proven that it's not the way to go. And Beachbody has done a really, really good job of creating meal plans that are now more rounded with, with the paleo option and with vegetarian options, which I really appreciate, but we're still not there yet with the higher fat option. So who do they come to? <laughs> Teammate International, because that's just something that we've had the, um, you know, had the ability to, to own and work on for a long time. So it's nothing new to us. And I've actually had a couple of new coaches that have reached or people that wanted to become coaches because, um, and they tell me because of, you know, your, your vested interest in nutrition, because that's, that's something that's just so important and working out is great. And I stand on my platform that working out will do everything, but help you lose weight. So people who, who go for weight loss, um, and think they can exercise to weight loss. Um, I tell them it's not true. No. Trend set up. Yeah. Andrea following in my footsteps. Was she sleeping? Yeah. No. Basil and Mick. <laughs> yeah, it's your mascot. <laughs> And if you guys watch the live, we had a, we had a great turnout for people that are watchers. So thank you very much. You have any questions on this exercise of branding? <laughs> now, so I, I want you guys to know that I, people always ask, and I have to speak at summit at the leadership, no pressure with Brendan Richard at the leadership, um, uh, section that they're doing. You have to be a lifetime two star and at least a diamond at the time in order to attend. But, um, and I'm kind of speaking on this stuff of, you know, the evolution of coaching and, you know, what you do as a brand new coach, as opposed to what you do as a coach, a, a two time 15 star or a coach that's been in the business eight, nine years, it's completely different. And I don't want brand new coaches coming in thinking that they need to come up with their own meal plans. They need to have freemiums. They need to have a website. They have to have eBooks. Um, they have to do podcasts, all this. You don't have to. As a brand new coach, your job is to be a product of the product and to share your journey, right? All people want to know from you is, is this working for you? Prove it to me. Tell me how it'll work for me as well, okay? That's it as a new coach. Now, as you become a diamond coach, um, that's when you're going to start to push, you know, push the envelope as a leader and and really start to have to lead a team a little bit, especially lead by example, but it's still really important that you recruit. And then once you get into two star and five star and above like that, you really have to come up with ways to separate yourself because you've been doing this a while, the warm markets used up <laughs> and your, your testimony is going to take you so far, but then to have, you know, something that you can come up that you believe in, um, 
for those of you that have been doing this for a little while that aren't brand new, um, what really interests you? I, and it doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be exercise. But what really interests you? Maybe it's relationships. Maybe it is finances. Maybe it is you and your cat. Cats. <laughs> Cooking. I don't care what it is, but whatever truly, truly interests you and you have a passion for reading on it and you have a passion for sharing it, I would encourage you to create a freemium. I had, again, um, Lorraine Trey. She's been a coach of mine for, oh my goodness, six, a long, you know, long time. Um, and she's re reigniting her business. I love the way she put that. You guys got to take a look at her because she is one hot 55 year old. I mean, she's, yeah, she's pretty, yeah, yeah. she's smoking, freaking smoking. And, um, she's a gymnast and flexible as I'll get out strong as I'll get she out. Right. Flexibility. Yeah. And so, um, I, I told her to create a freemium on how to create more flexibility. Who would want to be more flexible and be told by someone who could wrap their <laughs> leg around their head twice, how to be more flexible. So I told her to create a freemium, just 10 easy exercises that you can do to increase your flexibility, right? So I don't care what your passion is, but when you start really getting into this and you want to create a list of people that you can create a relationship with, create a freemium. My freemium, that eight hour abs diet um, has served me well and it didn't take me that long to make. So um, I really encourage that. Janice. You like? <laughs> this is Janice's shirt. She gave it to me. Finally found something to add. Fitness, faith, ministry. Who is the 55-year-old? Lorraine Shray. I don't know if she's on. S-C-H-R-A-Y is her last name. She has a son that's graduating from Harvard in May. Um, got a football scholarship. Oh, scholarship. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Dang. She's a really good mom, too. Stalker. Oh, yeah. Actually, Andrea, you guys would make good success partners if you don't have one, to be honest. You guys are very similar. Is there anything else you want to add before I close shop? I was tending the cat. Nothing? I kind of missed the big clothes. I, well, I don't have one, but do you, when it comes to branding, is there anything in the car business you noticed what, like with Maui Harley Davidson that set you apart? I think specifically, if I can share um, with a lot of the advertising that we do on Facebook and Instagram, and if it's her like page or anything about her personal, um, today, everybody knows what beach body is and it's so super saturated and the beach body signal is just kind of there. So um, just make sure when you do your post that it's kind of like you, you know where you want it to end. So it has, it, it has purpose. Not just I'm putting it out there. I want to see, you know, how many people like it, what kind of response I get, how many comments I get, and then I'm going to work it. Um, just anticipate the, the movement or the motion, like um, whatever it is that it has direction and purpose that, that you want it to end over here regardless. And so when you get the comments or you get the interaction, you're ready to take them on the journey. So don't try to gather the people and then be like, let's get all excited and go, you know, in this direction, because then it just seems a little bit weird. I mean, if I came into something like that, I would feel a little bit lost, or maybe this is, you know, maybe it's your first, it's your first go at it. So just, just make sure that um, it's well thought out and it has um, an ending point before you start, if that makes sense. Have the end in mind. Yeah, for sure. And I agree with that. And uh, Kelly, uh, interesting story. I'll tell you guys really fast. Um, I'm one of those people. Who do you want to help? Well, I want to help stay-at-home moms. It's always been this because I was a stay-at-home mom when this business was introduced to me. And so I worked really hard as a stay-at-home mom to help bring him home. And so that, that to me, that was my target market. And stay-at-home moms are a lot safer easier and nicer than fitness professionals. However, I had, um, we had some friends over for dinner and, um, the wife, she's a podcaster. Her name is Natalie, but her, what she does is she mentors six figure women entrepreneurs. 
not in network marketing, but just it doesn't matter what business they have. It could be network marketing. It could be a, a jewelry store. It could be, you know, an online Etsy account. It doesn't matter, but she mentors six figure business. And so she was over at the house and she could just feel my, she could just feel my frustration with my business, which I'm always frustrated with my business. He can tell you, um, if it's not moving at lightning speed, I'm frustrated. It's just in my DNA. <laughs> so anyway, um, we were talking about my target market and how I reach out to them. And um, after several hours, probably four hours of talking, she finally said, you know what you need to do? She goes, you need to go after the fitness professional. Um, she goes, it would be more advantageous for you and probably a, a, lot, a lot better business fit for you. And I know she's right, but, and all of you fitness people out there, don't try to tell me I'm not right. You got egos. Um, you're hard to convince to get into this business. You're a harder sell than a stay-at-home mom. A stay-at-home mom is lonely and loves a community. A stay-at-home mom would love to help with the income. A stay-at-home mom probably is working on her fitness already. A fitness professional is already fit. A fitness professional is already making money. A fitness professional thinks that if they want to be great, they need to come up with their own product. They need to open a gym. They need to open up their own supplement line. So they're a much harder sell. So I was taking the safe route. And she said, you need to switch. You need to take your, everything that I post needs to quit. And I, <laughs> I'm still working on it. It's hard for me. It truly is hard for me um, to make the switch. But my goal is to switch my branding from stay at home moms who I've been helping for over eight years, but to really hone in on the fitness professional that I know is working ridiculous hours for the most $60,000 a year. Um, how about making that a month instead of a year? But it's hard because they have this wall that needs to be broken and I'm not a hard ass. Unlike this one, I'm not a hard ass. And you have to be to break down that wall and you have to be very matter of fact and in your face. And that's just not, doesn't come to me naturally. So, but it is something I'm working on. So long story short, Kelly, uh, I've always been, let's help the stay at home mom, but really where I want to go, my it's target market. For hard asses now. Yes. I went, no, I want, I want to help fitness professionals that I know are busting their ass. I know so many that, that teach 16 classes a week to make their bills. How long is that going to last? It's not. So. Yes, give people a directive. Hmm. Your brother still thinks it's a pyramid. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it's true. Maybe we can work together, honey. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just reading and assuming that I'm talking one-on-one, -on -one, Andrea, with. I'm actually creating, um, Steve's helping me create a webinar that's specifically for fitness professionals. If I have a script, um, that I can kind of go off of where I know the, the pain points that fitness professionals have and I know how to solve a problem for them and how I can help, then um, I think it'll be very powerful. So I'm working on that. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? We're going on 15 minutes. I didn't want to take too much of your time tonight. You're still on here. I saw 49. God bless you guys. I really figured I'd look at that and there'd be like 20 left. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. Any questions about anything? Um, I want you guys to know if you're going to Punta Cana, um, we're going and we're in the teal, the first wave, and there's a group for that. If you're going to Summit, we have a group for that. Um, we're supposed to be working on some venue that we can get everybody together. But this one thinks it's more important to go skiing and to go motocross riding and is not. So if we don't meet up, it's his fault. I just want you to know. It will get done. Yeah, it'll, whatever. <laughs> Where's the summit group? Miss mm -hmm. Janice Burke, we have this um, team page called the family page and it was posted in there. You're welcome, Crystal. Dirt biking is awesome. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Your mixed new favorite. I didn't know how to type anything in. 
All right. Well, you guys have a great night. Thank you for coming on tonight. And if you have any questions or you want me to, to look over the things that we went, like your, your three words, all that stuff to really help you just kind of wrap your brain around your brand and what you have to offer people, please send it my way. And I'll do my best to help you. Okay. You guys have a great night. Woo. I had a naked girl on my. Hey. Wow. That's, that's a, a friend request right there. You guys should see that. That's an interesting profile picture right there. <laughs> oh, love you guys. Have a good night.